Marieke en ik wil vandaag heel graag iets herfstigs, iets speels, iets leuks, iets een beetje spannends, een beetje wilds. Yeah, you want to paint up. Lekker. <laughs> Oké, okay. Marieke wants a totally new colorful hairstyle, but not too heavy, but it has to be an awesome style. Wil je een rondje draaien? She turns around to show her current hair and she's on the tail. Thank you. And friends on YouTube, that me a Marieke. Now start as always with protection. And because it's not an ultra short line, but it's a bob, I take also the neck paper, put on a nice cape in autumn colors. In autumn colors, yes. This is the line. Bend it, yeah, it is ready. In the meantime, we talk Dutch to each other, so if you think which language do we use, we're not going to do everything in English. We try to, but not all the things. But explain it, I certainly do. By the way, thank you for watching uh, my videos. And for those who know that I was searching for my brother, I think next time I have news for you. Start the wedding hair. Now she lost her something exciting. So I'm gonna work with colors. Gonna work in different ways because the natural blonde is also appearing through the hairs. So I'm gonna give her some highlights on top, make that playful, give her a new bob in this lines, so a little bit shorter than this, so it jumps up more and they give it some more layering. So it will be a layer bob with a curly effect without a bit crazy. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brush the hairs with the Olivia Garden brush. Still, no fight is the best to brush the wrist. Watch it, the beautiful lines of a skull because can you, you see she has a small skull, skull but the lines of the neck lays in the center. So you have a lot of power to lift this up. Gonna work with that. Okay, take my clips. Part hairs over the center line, set up her above, part it also on the skull bone, I'll show you that in a second. So all the lines are just on the skull bone. Here I come to create the bob. This bob in the hose. Come on out, bob. Now in winter time it can be hard with this length because it stuck into your clothes. You know. Everything, so it's not the best length for a bob. That's what you have to do. Okay, so what I told you, take of course my hot knife. I, I, as long as I have it, I will certainly use it. Go in and set in the first line. Watch what the hairs and on the line do. I'm not going to create a hard line in the on the lines. Create myself first the baseline. Set hairs aside. Take the under hairs. Once again, it's seven o'clock <laughs> after my work. Altijd een keer om zeven uur. Zo gezellig altijd Zeker. So this is my baseline. So now I take out the clip. Take the hairs up in the same line. As the chin line, do this on both sides. I don't want to get it into an A bob, I want to get it in a straight bob. Watch the natural shapes of the hair. So I see this curve line, so I get into this line, hold my fingers into the same line, and go into that line. So use her natural shapes also as a baseline. 
So it's not the perfect connection of the hairs. It's just working to the perfect fall. Come in the center line, you see there is also a splitting of the hairs because I can show you that. This part goes to here, and that part goes to there. Lift the hairs up again and gently go into the natural lines of a hair fall. Dat is thuis ook wel spannend te vinden. Dit? Ja. Hier ja, kunnen we dit. Sowieso leuk om dingen te doen die je anders niet doet. Precies. Leven ze best saai. <laughs> Wetting in between. Ga je dan wel live maken? Ja. Kan. Again, watch at the lines. Use the runnings of the skull. So take my comb, bend hairs into that line, go in on the line of cutting, and after this line, I come into the lines that get more layering on top. So I flow over the same line. See the volume it will bring. Of course, do the same on this line. Watch where the fall is. Now, the leuk is natuurlijk als je knip wordt als model, dan hoor je ook al die dingen die ik moet doen. Normaal is er ook helemaal niks van hoort, want dan ben ik helemaal niet meer bezig. Ja, precies. En nou moet ik het echt uit gaan leggen, dus dat is gewoon een heel ander verhaal. Ja, maar het is heel leuk. Ja. Het is heel leuk om te horen. Ja, dat geloof ik wel. Om te horen, om te weten, om te... Ja, maar het, het zit ja. allemaal in mijn instinct, hè. Ja, 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 precies. Nee, maar het is heel leuk, omdat, want dat, daar heb je natuurlijk geen idee van. Nee, inderdaad. natuurlijk niet. So now I have a playful effect on the ball. So now I go to the sides. Take out the clip. Still work in the same line as the chin line. Take the hairs down, don't do anything, just get them straight in. And when I do this, I'm certain that I have my first soft layering to the top. Because I pulled the line straight down and the other line was curved. So I'm certain when I cut on the line that I did before this line, I have more uh, layers on top. This by pulling the hairs down and take out the waving. Taking a line on it and now I caught at the fall of the skull. Again, take the hairs up, watch at the line I just did. Go to the line, watch also in the line of the fall. Now I come in I start my first real layering line, pulling on the hairs, so they will be shorter than the line I just did. I'm certain that they give a soft layering to the hairs. Take it down. Don't be afraid of the line that's laying beneath it because it will still lay beneath it. Minor corrections to the line, just laying over the roundings of the skull. Watch it fall. That's beautiful because I can see this. I come to the other side. Take the hairs to the back. Watch over the rounding of the skull. Go in. Gently go down. Always watch at the lines of the chin. They're very important when you create a bob. Make sure all the lines also behind the ears are on the line of cutting. Take a new line on it and this is on the line of the fourth skull. Like I did on the other side, 
take the hairs straight out of the skull lay them in the natural roundings with these lines I power up her bob like it was here <laughs> die klok vind ik ook geweldig zo Nee, maar ook al die dingen. Het is heel leuk om er zo iets over te leren als je inderdaad die dingen ieder doet. Ja, dat is gewoon je vakgebied, hè? Precies, je eigen vakgebied. Ja. Op een gegeven moment toch een bepaald gevoel en druk merk ook, hè? Ja. Omdat je weet wat je doet. Just squeezing the hairs. See what it already does, because when she does nothing to the hairs, she already has more curly effect. And I see also the underlines. Real nice because they jump up, so they give in the underlines the power up of the underlines, and that's what we want. Coming to the line over the fall of the skull. Take the hairs to the back, watch at the line I created, knowing that I want some layering in the hairs. Pull the hairs from the skull. This way I'm certain that I get some layering. Go one more time over the same line. But then in the opposite way. Give it also a slight point cut technique with the tip of my knife. Crease it again. See how beautiful her hair is. Now, her natural parting is not in the center, but I want all the hairs on the same length, so I take the hairs over to the other side. It has over to the other side. Come and do the same. Pull them to the back. See the difference in length knowing that they come from the other side but this gives also a connection line to the other side so I know where my layering is and the nice thing is working with this tool for those who don't know this this tool is 190 degrees celsius it seals the hairs but it is only available in the US and that's a shame because it's a wonderful tool So now I have a lot of layering on this side, so I can lay the natural line back. Now come to the other side. Wedding again. Start in the back again. Go to the line of cutting so I can see the line where I need to connect on. Go in, watch over the hairs, travel slightly but steady into the line of cutting. So move with the line. And with this too, I also get all the dry ends of the summer of her hair. Go over the same line, but then in the opposite way. I'm certain I did all the lines. Now come to the top. Set the hairs to the side. Take the hairs up. Twist them. And only in the center I take off a little bit. This I never do with a normal knife because then I would damage the hair too much but I think it's the best way to connect it in a free way so you get a much more playful line
and I can show you that the lines are certainly the way they should be because when I take them up in the center line and I take them in a straight line I can see that they are all in the same line so I'm certain that left and right are the same length Take one in the center line over the fall of the skull. Take this in an angle of 45 degrees. Take it to the center line and give this also a playful effect. So I get a lot of volume on top and a lot of power into this line. Coming to the front. Watch at the natural lines because she has a beautiful natural parting. I have to watch this also. This part goes to here, this part goes to there. Take her left side, lift it over, watch over the lines of the chin. Lay it into the line of the chin and gently go down. Now I'm certain that all the hairs also on her face line are sealed and have the best condition I can give them. Coming to the other side, knowing that the parting is the other way around. Take the hairs over, watch again on this side of the chin line. And by watching at the natural lines you can so also see the beauty of people because everybody is unique. Only of me are 1500 on YouTube, but <laughs> <laughs> they all can cut hair. <laughs> <laughs> so now this is done. So now I start with highlighting her head. Good luck. Back, I made some bleach, made it with uh, 30 volume, put it in the conditioner, start with fine highlights, just on the fall of the skull, not in the underlines, because I don't need them in the underlines. Till I get on the fall of the natural parting. Hold every time about two centimeters between the foils. And I put in step one of the glint line so I don't damage her hand. I made first lines in the line of the hairs and now I'm going to work in the line of the natural fold. So I take off parts and this may be a little bit more than just a little bit. This gives it also the rough effect on the front.
after I take a wig, so center my lines in angle. And the same I do, of course, also on the other side. Ja, dan word je blond, schat. Tot de drie. Die zag niet aankomen. Nee, nooit gedacht. Mm -hmm. Bel je daar naar huis, maar woon ik ook alweer. Ik denk dat je niet thuis moet komen. Nee? Ja. Zie ik wel. Zie ik wel. Ja, ik ben wel lief. Ik kan jou helemaal niet missen, die. Maar blond? Hè? Maar blond? Dat weet ik niet. Oh, wie weet ooit eens. Hm. Als je straks echt uh, grijs wordt of zo. Helemaal grijs, ja. Precies. Dan is het blond leuker. Dan ja. gelijk een stuk vrolijker. Ja. Zeker omdat de meiden nog jong zijn. So now I made all the foils, only on top. So this are close, we go for a coffee at tea, and you just stay there waiting for us. I'm gonna show you how light it is, and then I'm applying a nice copper tone over the total hair to give it that awesome, wonderful, warm feeling. So, don't go away, we'll be back. Okay, back from uh, bleaching after 25 minutes we rinse it out because uh, we don't want ultra light uh, highlights. So, in the golden blonde is wonderful because we cannot work in a copper tone. It's a gloss, it's a work product of Lacme. You do this with 1.5%, uh, 2% um, peroxide. So it's uh, hardly nothing. Applying this on the hairs. And this is a real nice copper color. So we hide all the natural uh, light colors of her hair. And give the rest a nice warm color. There's no ammonia in this product. It's very gentle to the hairs and to the skin. And the nice thing of Lac May is that you have copper colors, uh, conditioner and shampoo, so you can also stay copper toned at home for a long, long time. If you're already developing because the blood always activates much easier. And so do all hair. Come this product through the hairs. This has to stay on the hairs for 20 minutes. But when you take off the five, you put the product on, it's 50 minutes. Bring the hair on a wonderful condition. Take out also the hardness of the bleach. There's no smell coming from this product, just soft. They're a bit creamy. Don't go away, we'll be back. Back from coloring after 15 minutes we rinse it out. Now I'm going to use of uh, glint and ice uh, foam. Massage this into her hair. Het is gewoon iemand die eruit probeert te komen hierboven. <laughs> And then I'm going to blow dry the hairs using a medium brush. This one. Starting in the back, building up to the front. Kom je iedere dag weer dit, hè? 
So far blow drying. Now I need myself a nice product. So I'm gonna mix something together. Take two products, I take uh, Spider as product of Glint and I take Crystal Turn as product of Goldwell KMS in the States. This amount of Goldwell. This amount the Spider product. This, like I normally do, take it all over my hands. First put a little bit in the other lines to create that volume and a lot of, a lot of hair. And the nice thing is this product you can play with the hairs. Give a lot of volume on the back. To get a lovely volume wise bob. Take on that a little bit hairspray of Lancer. It's net aan de achterkant dat je de fik staat een beetje. Zo'n vlammetjes. Het leuke is dat het helemaal op je natuurlijke lijn is geknipt. Dus morgen voor je niks doet is is het eigenlijk het mooiste. Now thank Marie for being my model. Thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result. We see each other next video. Bye bye. Now it's all echt wilde herfst boom. Hij zit achter kan dat zien. Leuks, iets een beetje spannend, een beetje wild. Yeah, you want to paint up. Lekker. <laughs> okay, Marika wants a totally new. Colorful hairstyle, but not too heavy, but it has to be an awesome style. Big one to She turns around to show her current hair and sits on the tail. Thank you all.